Welcome to West Virginia ACRO's virtual college fair this evening. Please make sure that you have any questions that you put your questions in the Q&A button area that the presenters can answer at any time during the event. Meet your camera and microphones will be off the entire time. So make sure that you focus on their speeches as well. There'll be other sessions this evening. So please sign up for those if you have time. Recording will be available of this event later on so you can come back and access that down the road as well. All right. First up we'll have this evening will be Davis Elkins College. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and we also have Miss Angie Scott, our Director of Student Recruitment and Success here as well. We are going to start um, with a short presentation. It is a two minute video that will give you some great perspective on our school and I will get that going right now. The world looks a lot different now. We are adapting to a new normal. A number of things are uncertain, but it's in uncertainty that leaders rise. At Davis and Elkins College, we challenge our students and faculty to lead the way. With 45 academic programs, 35 student organizations, and a unique learning experience, we are prepared to adapt to change. And our students rise to the challenges set before them. Students here are encouraged to celebrate their diversity, express their creativity, engage in competition, and seize their futures. Because curiosity and free thinking opens minds and doors. And our hands-on learning approach guides a journey of self-discovery and success. Our campus is nestled in the town of Elkins, West Virginia, where it is surrounded by opportunities and adventures. Students are welcomed as a part of the community and encouraged to seek growth outside the classroom. And with access to winter sports and outdoor activities like camping, biking, hiking, and canoeing, there's no excuse for boredom. Rooted in more than 115 years of tradition, we remain committed to providing a safe campus and a nurturing environment that values ingenuity and thoughtfulness while fostering social, emotional, spiritual, and physical well-being. Despite uncertainty, some things stay the same. It's in uncertain times that leaders rise. Join us today in leading the way. So a little bit more about our college. We are a school that offers many different programs. We have 40 different, over 40 different degree programs, including associate's degrees and bachelor's degrees. We have a large variety of different majors. And one of our more popular majors is our bachelor's in nursing. We have a 100% pass rate on the NCLEX exam for all students who have taken it on the first try. So we're pretty proud of that. Um, and many students participate in different clubs and organizations as well as part of their experience here. So although we are a smaller sized campus, we have just under 800 students. We do have a very large campus, 172 acres with 21 different buildings that includes five dorm room or dorm halls and several different academic buildings, a large library, an arts center, and a science center. We also have a bed and breakfast on campus, and that's one of our older historic buildings. Uh, one thing that we love about our school is our 13 to one student to faculty ratio. That allows students to really get to know their professors on a personal level and never just be a number. Um, so they're able to ask questions, and have that smaller class size. And that ultimately leads to several different jobs and internships for all different degree programs. We do offer several different scholarship opportunities for students. We have a leadership and scholarship day where students can participate and write an essay and complete an interview as well as West Virginia specific scholarships, international scholarships and GPA based scholarships. 
Here's a picture of our brand new Miles Center that just recently opened. We had a generous donation that allowed for this beautiful space to be brought to life on, in, right in the center of our campus. In that building, we have a large socially distanced area for classroom learning um, that will soon be used as an event space and an auditorium and a chapel right over here. Here in Elkins, West Virginia, we, are a small, we do have a small town vibe. We are a college town. On campus, everyone feels like family and we really encourage our students to grow and learn and become leaders within the community. Here's one of our campus maps. Um, one thing you'll notice is we are tucked onto a hillside and we have a lot of nature right on campus, including hiking trails, a paintball course, and uh, beautiful athletic facilities and beautiful class buildings. We are part of the Division II Mountain East Conference and it's one of the more highly competitive conferences for Division II. And most of our students, uh, specifically about 40% participate in athletics. As far as dining services, we have three different dining options on campus. We have our main dining hall, a fast food style restaurant, and a really cute coffee shop that is also a refurbished caboose that um, commemorates some of our history and the railroad being brought to this area back when the senators lived here. And a little bit more of why you'd come to Elkins and why you'd want to come to our school. Um, we are the capital for outdoor adventure. We have a little bit of everything. If you like skiing, snowboarding, hiking, rock climbing, anything outdoorsy, it's a great place to come and it's a great place to learn and grow. Davis and Elkins mission is to prepare students and inspire them for success and thoughtful engagement in the world. This seven step process is our enrollment process and we love to help students in this process and we uh, provide a hands-on approach and we allow for students to ask questions and we are happy to set up any meetings with students. Um, right now we are open for visits, on campus visits um, Monday through Saturday. We have three different slots available. Um, we also have an option for virtual visits where you can sit down and talk on Zoom one-on-one -on -one with a enrollment advisor and get more information and talk about cost and things like that. And you can apply for free uh, online. Our application is completely free and we're waiving test scores this year because of the pandemic and we're gonna reevaluate next year. So uh, it takes, very short amount of time to apply and we typically give admissions decisions within 24 to 48 hours after we receive all of your information. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. I'm available any time of day and would love to meet some future senators. Thank you so much, Davis Elkins. Now we're going to have Point Park University. So my name is Jared Bittner. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions at Point Park University. Uh, I just want to start off uh, by giving you a, um, some basic facts about Point Park. We're a small private university located downtown Pittsburgh. We got about 4,000 students uh, that attend Point Park. Out of those 4,000, we have approximately 3,200 undergraduate students and 900 master's and doctoral students. Uh, we have five schools within uh, the university, which uh, are the School of Arts and Sciences, the role of School of Business, School of Communications, School of Education, and the uh, Conservatory of Performing Arts. 
Uh, we have within those schools, we have 79 bachelor degrees and 20 graduate degrees. And uh, we have an alumni network of over 28,000 that represent 49 states and 33 countries. First school is the School of Arts and Sciences, which has um, a criminal justice and intelligence studies department. Um, and we also have a natural sciences and engineering technology department. On the criminal justice side, we have majors such as criminal justice, intelligence and national security. <clears throat> um, on the engineering side, we have electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and civil engineering technology. On the natural sciences side, we have biological science, funeral services. We also have a humanities and social sciences department, a literary arts department, um, and social, literary arts and social justice, uh, with majors in creative writing, social justice studies. We have a psychology department, which has behavioral sciences and psychology. We also have a pre-med and pre-professional studies track that you can do with any major at the university. <clears throat> Next up is the role in school business, which uh, we have majors such as accounting, human resource management, um, applied computer science, sports arts and entertainment management, marketing and sales, all within that, um, that school. <clears throat> we have the school of communications, which has broadcast production and media management, graphic design, journalism, multimedia, photography, public relations and advertising. Uh, we have a center for media innovation, uh, which is a facility with a new uh, broadcast studios for TV and radio stations, new photography studios, uh, multimedia newsroom. And we have a guest speaker series every year where people from all over the country come to talk about professions within the within communications world. We also have the School of Education, which has instructional studies pre-K through four, four through eight grade, um, secondary education. You can also do a dual certification in special ed with either pre-K through four, four through eight, or secondary ed. We have the Conservatory of Performing Arts, uh, which has a cinema department, a theater department, and a dance department. Um, when it comes to our Conservatory of Performing Arts majors, you have to be both artistically and academically admitted to go into these programs. Um, on the artistic side, to be reviewed for artistic, artistic admission, you need to either submit a portfolio, um, do an interview, or do an audition, depending on the major. We also like to focus on internships and professional development while we're at the university, well, while you're at Point Park. Uh, since we are located in downtown Pittsburgh, uh, there's a plenty of opportunity for internships and professional development while you're uh, in Pittsburgh and at Point Park. We have a cooperative education program, which gives you the opportunity to work full-time first semester, getting paid and getting college credit and doing meaningful work. We have, um, when it comes to living on campus, we have a little over a thousand students living on campus. We have traditional dorms for first year students. And then for sophomores, juniors and seniors, we have suites and apartments. Uh, we have free cable, laundry and Wi-Fi at the university for our students living on campus near within walking distance to jobs, internships, sporting events, restaurants, shops, parks, and performance venues. Uh, we also have over 50 clubs and activities at Point Park, um, both interest-based and academic. Uh, we have an activity shuttle that takes you throughout different locations in Pittsburgh, such as movie theaters, malls, um, grocery stores. Uh, we also have a student center if you're into working out. Also, there's conference space for clubs and activities and a rec room there. Uh, we also have, um, in the area, there's over 15 businesses that do student discounts for Point Park students. We also have 18 varsity sports in total. Uh, we do have scholarships available for athletes. If a student wants to be uh, considered to play a sport at the university, they should fill out an athlete's questionnaire, um, and the coach will reach out to you about possibly participating. We also have a study abroad program with sponsored locations in England, Italy, and Spain. Uh, if you want to go somewhere else, we'll work with you on doing an independent study abroad. And then there's some international trips that take place throughout the year uh, with faculty. When it comes to scholarships, um, we have uh, academic scholarships that range uh, between uh, fourteen dollars to $20,000 a year for incoming first year students. And then we have uh, for transfer students, merit scholarships that range between ten dollars to $16,000 a year. And 99% uh, of our students receive some form of financial aid. And the average financial aid package is uh, $27,000 uh, a year. The conservatory students are considered for a different set of scholarships. Um, the dance, cinema, and theater departments 
that we consider for scholarships ranging between three dollars to $25,000 a year for artistic based on an interview portfolio or audition. And then uh, there's a $5,000 Dean's Academic Scholarship you'll be considered for based on your academics. If you'd like to learn more about Point Park University, you can go to uh, www.pointpark.edu. And uh, we are having uh, visits on, ca on campus visits right now and virtual visits. Our on campus visits take place uh, Monday through Friday at 10, 12, and 2. And we also have some Saturdays available for visits too. Um, you can say if you'd like to sign up for a visit, go to our website. You can do that. And if you'd just like to learn more about us, uh, just, you know, like I said, go to www.pointpark.edu. Thank you. Thank you so much, Point Park University. Remember, if you have any questions this evening, to put the questions in the Q&A section. Next up, we're going to have Eastern Kentucky University. All righty. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Madison Miller, and I am one of the admissions counselors here at Eastern Kentucky University. Um, so here is just a little bit of background. So I am your direct admissions counselor um, for West Virginia, as well as um, some of the other surrounding states. Some of them are probably not close to you all, um, but here is some of my contact information if you all need to get a hold of me in any way. And this will also be on the last slide. Oh, um, Madison. Just a little bit of the overview. So we're going to do um, a university overview. We're going to do an academic overview. We're going to talk about student life, campus rec, financial aid, which is very important, as well as scholarships, the admissions process, the enrollment process, and then some of the virtual admission services that we have now due to COVID. Um, so just a little overview of EKU. So we are located in Kentucky, which is known as the Bluegrass region um, in the Appalachian foothills. Um, it's known as Campus Beautiful. The main campus is in Richmond, but we also have two other side campuses that are in the surrounding counties. Um, we have about 15,000 students, so we are much bigger than a community college. Um, we are a university, but we are also um, not as big of a university. We're the perfect medium, I like to tell students. Um, we have a brand new science building. We have brand new residence halls. We have a brand new dining hall, um, a new gym. We have newly renovated student union buildings, um, and we are a school of opportunity. So a lot of our students, around 30%, are first year in their family to attend college. And because of that, we do offer a lot of um, financial assistance to those students. Um, here is just a little academic overview. So we have over 100 career-focused programs. Um, some of those programs that are most known to us is the criminal justice program and the nursing program. And that actually is what makes EKU the College of Distinction. Um, our student to faculty ratio is 15 to 1, which is what you would normally see in a smaller community college, but as a university, 15 to 1 is amazing. Um, we have more than 75% of our graduates that are employed after um, graduating, and with that, we have internships that are required for every major, um, just to dip your feet in the water and make sure that what you're doing is what you want to do um, for the rest of your life. And then student life, this is something that I always recommend to students to do um, to get involved. Um, so we have over 200 st student organizations. We have um, fraternity and sororities that are within that. We have community service programs. Um, we have some alternative spring break programs. A lot of those are outreach in the community. I know that one year we went to Alabama um, and it was super fun. Um, our athletics are amazing. Students get in for free. We just changed to the ASUN conference and we're super excited about that. We have six men's and eight women's sports teams. And this is the new um, campus recreation, the gym that I was talking about. So if any of you all are very familiar with Kentucky or the natural bridge, or you like to be outdoors, we have a brand new rock climbing um, center in our gym that resembles um, the great, I think it's like the great arch. And that's one of the places here in Kentucky that a lot of the students love to go and visit. Um, we also have equipment rental within our campus rec. We are close to a lake, it's called Lake Reba. And a lot of students love to rent our kayaks, canoes, and go out for the day and just enjoy the nice weather, hopefully when it gets warmer. 
and then our dining plan. So this is um, some photos of our brand new dining hall. Um, that includes the best of the best foods, Subway, Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, Moe's. Um, Excuse me, Madison. Stop, sorry to stop you, but your screen is not showing the your PowerPoint at all. Oh, it's not? Oh, no. Let's see. Okay, is it now? It is. Thank you. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, should I just keep going? Yeah, keep going. You're rocking. Okay, okay, okay. I am so sorry about that, guys. So now you all can see um, what our new dining hall looks like. Um, so it's super nice. It has all the best things in there that you need when coming to school. We have housing and parking. So I know a lot of um, universities or community colleges, some of them don't allow freshmen to um, have a parking pass. We do. Please bring whatever you need. Um, if you don't have a car or um, you are not planning on bringing a car, we still have a big E transit that is going to transport you wherever you need around campus. Um, living on campus is super awesome. You have free Wi-Fi, cable, streaming services. And then this is one awesome thing about EKU is our out-of-state tuition is only $10,300, and that's for the whole year. Um, a lot of students don't realize this, but um, that is probably around the same price that some of your in-state colleges are. So if you're interested in out-of-state, this is a great price for you um, for out-of-state students. <clears throat> now with financial aid, um, we have grants that we give. We have the federal pay grant. A lot of this is with the U.S. Department of Education and your FAFSA. Um, we also have on-campus um, employment. So like um, super fun, not difficult jobs for students that you can juggle schoolwork and still make money on the side. And another cool thing about EKU is we just launched a new program called Booksmart. So every undergraduate student starting in the fall of 2021 is going to get free books. So you will not have to save money for books anymore. Those are gonna be given to every student that starts in the fall of 2021. A lot of students cannot believe this, but you do not have to pay for a book if you come to EKU. Um, like I said, it's a school of opportunity and we have a lot of students that struggle anyways. Um, so we do not want this to be another burden or another thing on their mind that they have to worry about financially. More about scholarships. So we have uh, many, many merit-based scholarships. Um, we are test optional this year. So you do not have to turn in your um, ACT scores or anything like that. Um, we do have some deadlines coming up for scholarships if you're interested in EKU, and um, that is going to be coming up soon, which is March 1st. Um, we have the Trailblazer Scholarship, which is um, for first-generation college students, and that is also very popular. And then um, the admissions, like I said, were test optional. Um, our application is free, so there is no uh, payment that you have to do. Um, and let's see... And then just the enrollment process. So I have on here our FAFSA code. Normally though, you can just look that up and it will pop up. Um, and then like here are some more deadlines. So the housing application, register for orientation. And then this is just some of the services that we offer now since most of us are virtual. Um, you can uh, do an online appointment with me. You can do an online um, visit with me also. And then we also have live chats throughout the semester. And that is all I have for you all today. I'm so sorry that you couldn't see half of the PowerPoint, um, but if you have any questions, concerns, please reach out to me and I'm super excited. Thank you so much, Eastern Kentucky. Next, we're gonna have Pierpont Community and Technical College.
Kirpa, you're on mute. It should be in the bottom left corner of your screen. All right, let's see if we can hear you now. No, we still can't hear you. All right, you want to try again, Pierpont? All right, go ahead, try speaking now and see if we can hear you. All right, are you still there? If you're still there and you can hear my voice, just call on your screen so I can know that you can hear me. All right, but we can't. What we'll do, we'll try to work on, we'll work it out for you. Um, let's go next with Shepherd University. Shepherd, are you good to go? Yes. All right, thank you very much. Go ahead on yeah. in. Pierpont, we'll work it out somehow for you, I promise. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Kayla. I am one of the admissions counselors um, here at Shepherd University. Um, and then let's get started. So why is Shepherd a great option for your college education? Um, well, first, we are in the perfect location. We are located right along the Potomac River, as you can see here in this picture. We are right in the heart of history, surrounded by battlefields. Uh, we're about an hour and a half away from the Washington, D.C., Baltimore area, which um, offers a lot of opportunities for our students. And we're a few short hours away from some other larger cities. So we are pretty close to those cities, giving easy access to them for our students. Yet we are removed, um, again, in the heart of history, right along, right in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. So our students truly are the heartbeat of our campus. Um, we have just under 4,000 students. Um, well, 60% of our students do uh, come from West Virginia. The other 40% come from across the globe. We have representation from all 50 states in 31 different countries. In terms of academics, we are a uh, public liberal arts institution. So here at Shepherd, we have over 100 majors and concentrations. On average, your classroom sizes is right around 20 students. So this is um, pretty important. You're really gonna get that one-on-one -on -one attention from professors. Uh, you're gonna get hands-on learning and the opportunity to work with high-tech equipment earlier on in your education. Uh, we have a 13 to one student faculty ratio, meaning for every 13 students, there's one faculty member. So again, stressing that importance, um, you're really gonna have the chance to build a relationship with your professors, uh, they're going to get to know you here at Shepherd. You are more than just a number. Um, you will have the chance to build that relationship with professors. So in terms of career preparation, 
college is all about preparing you for your career. Uh, so we do that in a few different ways um, through different internships and field experiences. For some um, majors, such as nursing majors, that will be through clinical rotations. And for our education majors, that's through student teaching. So most of our students will have some sort of an internship or field experience component, probably somewhere within their junior or senior year. Um, again, we have a large uh, alumni base in the Washington DC Baltimore area. So this opens up a lot of cool opportunities for our students to complete those internships or field experiences in those areas. In terms of campus life, we offer over 90 clubs and organizations um, going from debate club to accounting club to kayaking club. We really have something for everybody here at Shepherd. Uh, we constantly have campus events and festivals going on, whether that's a guest speaker or just a festival going on uptown. We are a Division II athletic school, so it's pretty common for our students to tailgate at our football games or um, be in the student section at our basketball games. So if that's something that you are interested in, we do offer that as well. So in terms of residence halls, we offer three styles of housing, uh, your traditional dorms, we offer suite and apartment style living. We have four dining locations, which are all included in your meal plan. Uh, we have free um, laundry for all of our students and all of our students are able to have a car on campus even as a freshman. Uh, you just have a small fee for a parking pass, but you may bring your car to campus. So in terms of financial aid, we are a affordable option. Um, Shepherd students graduate with less debt than the national average. So right here, these are our costs for in-state and out-of-state students. So for in-state students, you're looking right around 18,000 and out-of-state 28,000. These costs are before any scholarships, grants, loans, or your FAFSA is applied. Um, we do offer some different scholarships to help out with that cost. Um, as I mentioned, we are a D2 school. So if you are interested in athletics, we offer athletic scholarships. We also have academic scholarships, which can range from one to $5,000 per year, um, depending on your GPA and test scores. Uh, the minimum requirements for, for those scholarships is a 3.0 GPA, a 22 uh, ACT score, or an 1100 um, SAT score. Uh, if you are eligible for an academic scholarship, those scholarships are something that you do not have to apply for. They are awarded upon admission as long as you meet the requirements. And if you keep above a 2.7 uh, a 2.75 GPA, um, those scholarships are renewable for all four years. We also have some major specific scholarships. Um, typically, this goes to juniors and seniors within your major um, that your professors can offer some scholarship money as well. In terms of admissions requirements, if you're ready to apply, this is what we're going to need from you. Uh, we will need your high school transcripts. Um, a personal statement, although it is not required, we are strongly recommending it, especially because we are test score optional for the fall of 2021. Um, we are still encouraging you to send in your SAT and ACT scores if you have had the chance to take those, but if not, that's okay. Um, but we're just encouraging that you send any personal statements and any letters of recommendations you have. We really love reading those and getting to know our students, so we are encouraging you to send those in. So your next steps, what's next? Uh, I would say go explore our website, uh, see what we have to offer. Um, we do have in-person visits right now. They are limited to one family, but we do have them um, two, two times each day. Uh, and we are offering Saturday tours as well. We also have a virtual tour up on our website and we have um, different, um, you can, make an appointment to talk to an admissions counselor one on one. We have what we call RAM chat, which gives you the option to um, talk to current students. So we definitely have a lot of uh, options for you guys to get to know us and to learn more about our school. And then I would say if you're ready, go ahead and apply. We are accepting applications through the Common App and right on our website. And that's really all I have for you guys. Um, this is our contact information. Uh, if you want to get a hold of us, feel free to text us. We have a texting line that all of our counselors are on during business hours. You can always give us a call or you can shoot us an email.
All right. Thank you so much for that presentation, um, Shepherd University. We're going to go now to the Q&A section that we're going to work on right now. All right. You able to hear me, John? Oh, yes. We get okay, your perfect. Perfect. Would you like to go ahead on and go, Marshall? Yeah, I'll go ahead. We'll go, All right, go for it. Absolutely. I plugged in some headphones, so maybe the, uh, the difficulty <laughs> won't be uh, so crazy now. No, no, no. You got it, my friend. Go for it. So uh, let's uh, let's get right back into this. Um, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. All right, just wanted to verify that as well. All right, so this is Pierpont Community and Technical College. Um, our mission statement here, um, it's basically to provide accessible, responsive, comprehensive education that works. Our vision is empowering individuals to transform their lives um, through education. So at Pierpont Community Colleges, uh, Community College, we have three main campuses. We have the Fairmont main campus, which if you guys are familiar with Fairmont State at all, that is actually, we share that with them. Um, and that's gonna hold our residence halls, our dining, our gen ed, professional studies, business and graphics programs. Then we have the Robert C. Byrd Aerospace Center, uh, which is gonna house our aviation uh, maintenance program. And then we have the ATC, which is the Advanced Technology Center, which is in Whitehall. So it's about 15 minutes from our main campus. Moving on, we have about 50 different um, degree programs at Pierpont. Our first school is our School of Business, Aviation, and Technology. It's going to house our applied design. But more importantly, we have three programs that are most popular. We have the Information Systems Technology. We have the electric utility technology, and then we have the aviation program, which I alluded to a little bit ago. So those are our three biggest uh, because they're almost guaranteed jobs coming out with the aviation. And then you get a contract with the electric utility technology where if you do get accepted into the program because it's competitive, you will get your tuition paid for as well as that five-year contract afterward. Our next school is our School of General Education and Professional Studies. Um, most notably, we have our culinary arts program at Pierpont, which is top four um, in the United States. And then we have our um, criminal justice, which is also a very good program. And our ASL interpreter and paralegal are both completely online. Um, so if anyone's interested in those, you can completely take those online. We have our School of Health Sciences, where we have, I believe, two uh, competitive programs here. We have the, uh, well, we have licensed practical nursing as well, but that isn't going on in the fall. So we have two right now, which is going to be vet tech, um, and then we have respiratory care and uh, rad tech as well. So our admissions checklist at Pierpont, it's a completely free application on our website, pierpont.edu. There's a big green apply now button in the top right hand corner um, and it automatically applies you for any scholarships or financial aid that we're going to offer. Um, for the selective programs, obviously you're going to have to meet those requirements, but we accept everyone up until that first week of classes. Um, so as long as it's not a selective program, you can get in. Um, you're going to have to send those supplemental documents, obviously, and then one of the most important steps is applying for that financial aid at Pierpont. So our tuition rates uh, for 12 hours for one semester, it's going to be around 2,500. Uh, Non-resident is about 6,000, um, and then non-resident metro is about 4.7 thousand. So when you apply for that financial aid, you're obviously going to be eligible for scholarships grants and loans. Uh, most importantly, we have the West Virginia Invest Grant, like every community college in the state. If you apply for that um, and you are eligible, where all you would have to do is stay in the state for two years um, after you complete your degree, take a drug test every semester, and then complete two hours of community service every semester. And you cannot have 90 credit hours already um, procured. But if you do meet those, requirements, then you could get your tuition paid for for the two years at Pierpont. The only thing you would have to pay for is the books, um, housing, and fees associated with said course that you take, but everything else would be paid for. 
Um, like I said, the big one there is staying in the state for two years. But um, if you're willing to do that, then it really is a great grant for you guys. And how to get in touch with us, um, that's our student services line, 304-367-4907. Um, There's our email, admit at Pierpont. And then, like I said before, we're, we share a campus with Fairmont State. So you can find us there, uh, 1201 Locust Avenue. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Pierpont. All right, we have a few minutes left and we'll go through at least two of the questions. We'd like all the panelists to at least give us uh, an answer to the two questions that I have for you and we will finish up the event. All right, first question. What advice would you give someone going through the college selection process? You guys can answer in the order of your presenting this evening. Hi. Um, for someone going through the college process, I would just say, do your research, make sure you're looking into every college and make sure you're finding the majors that you're interested in, as well as communicating with the admissions counselors. That's what we're here for. And make sure that it's something affordable and in an area that you would be happy in. So my advice is uh, similar. It's just about you know finding a college is the right fit for you, but also um, checking out as many different universities as possible to get an understanding about what's something you value in a university and seeing a diverse number of campuses like city, rural, suburban, small, uh, large institutions. Um, the only way to really figure out what you're gonna like and what's the best fit for you is by checking out as many different universities as possible. I know with um, COVID right now, it's really hard to go and visit colleges, but I would highly recommend to try to work something out to visit other colleges. Um, because for me, it was definitely an in-person feeling that made me feel like home at the college that I chose. Um, so definitely um, go visit as many colleges as you are able to. Also look at the finances. Um, obviously that's something in the room that nobody wants to talk about, but it is very important, especially whenever you're um, investing in your future. So definitely look at what feels like home to you and then also the finances of it. My advice is very similar to what's already been said. It's all about really finding what's the best fit for you. And the best way to do that is go visit as many campuses as you can. Um, as was already mentioned right now with COVID going on, it is really hard to schedule in-person visits. So if that means just taking a drive up and driving around campus and kind of touring it yourself, I definitely encourage you to do that as well. And also reaching out and talking to admissions counselors, especially during these times, um, we can definitely help you out and get you more information about our schools. So. Yeah, to, uh, to touch on what the other panelists said, um, I would say around the same way, you just need to do homework. Um, researching where you wanna go is really crucial right now because you can't make those in-house visits. Um, and kind of what Madison said, uh, the smartest thing you can do is not trying to go in insurmountable debt. So there's, it's so, it's so easier to afford now, I guess for lack of a better word, um, than it used to be. And there's so many different scholarships and grants that you can get if you just uh, look for them. So that is my answer. Our last question for the evening is give an interesting or fun fact about your campus. Yeah, so for Davis and Elkins College, we have two historic buildings on campus that were the former summer homes of the US senators, Senator Davis and Senator Elkins. One is used for administrative offices and the Office of Admissions, and the other is a fully operational bed and breakfast that families of students can stay in at a discounted rate. And it's a beautiful um, old Victorian style building and a great place to visit with a beautiful view of the mountains.
So Point Park University, um, interesting fact about Point Park, we are the only uh, university that is located in downtown Pittsburgh. Um, so if you like the idea of being in a city, being downtown could be a good fit for you. So one of the things that um, I love about EKU is the very first week, well, the week before courses start, um, it is only open for freshmen. So we have like a, a week of whenever only freshmen are on campus. Um, that allows students to get comfortable with campus without on campus. Um, campus is open to only you all. We have this thing, it's called Meyer Mania and we open up our local Meyer to only EKU students and you get a bunch of coupons, you get um, discounts on grocery shopping, there is fun raffles that you have in there and then um, another thing is we have a midnight um, breakfast. So obviously everyone's so excited because they're on their own now and you finally get to stay out past your curfew. Um, so EKU allows students to go to a midnight lunch or a midnight breakfast um, and it's super fun because you just met a bunch of new people your first week there and it's just something fun to get the students out and engage with one another. Okay, so something kind of fun about Shepherd University, um, our mascot is a ram. So we actually have uh, a farm up the road um, that houses our mascot, which is a real ram. Um, our mascot's name is JC. Uh, typically every year, we didn't have it this year because of COVID, but typically every year we have a little birthday party for him. Um, and it's a big campus event that all of our students are invited to. We have games and, and just a bunch of different food. So it's a really good time. Um, our Ram actually comes to the event and you know takes pictures with all the students. So it's a really good time. So that's something fun about our campus. All right, I would say something interesting and fun about Pure Pond is being able to go to a two year community college um, that is housed on a, a university. So like I said before, we share one uh, with Pure Pond, or sorry, with Fairmont State. So everything they have, Pure Pond um, gets as well. So you get their dining hall, you get their dorm rooms, um, their gyms, everything that they have, uh, your pond gets so it really is it's at half the price and you still get four years of experience while you're going to a two-year all right thank you all for your wonderful answers this evening um this concludes our event there's uh, other sessions scheduled for the evening and remember there will be a recording after the event is over with that you can see as well um representatives thank you so much for spending time with us really do appreciate it and everyone have a wonderful evening.